Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to add a header onto your Microsoft Word application. So if you wanted a header to appear on every single page, this tutorial will be for you. So if you wanted to do like your last name and a page number or so forth, this tutorial will show you guys how to do that. So in order to begin, we're going to left click on the insert tab, it should be the third tab from the left side. Once you're underneath that, you want to go over to where it says header, and you want to left click on that. And now we're given a few different options for a header here. We can insert a header that just appears on the left side. You could have three column header, and you have different couple themed ones as well. You could do the slice, a wisp, they have different kinds that they refer to them as different themes. So let's just select this one right here, and you can name it anything. and you just click out of it in order to save it. Now, if you wanted to actually add like your last name and a page number, what I would actually recommend doing is getting rid of this. But if you wanted to create a header, like that, how we just did it, that's fine. But if you wanted to do a page number instead, you could go underneath insert, left click on page number, left click on top of page, and then you can select any spot. I usually do the far right corner. And then you can type your last name right before. So once you start typing it, it will appear to the left, so it will start typing it backwards seemingly. So if you're looking for proper formatting, you're probably going to have something like that. You're not actually going to go underneath the insert header, you might go underneath the insert page number instead. So just keep that in mind. What you might want might not actually be what you want, one of those kind of things. But I hope you guys understood the basic premise of this tutorial. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.